everybody, this is Dr. Gundry. Let's talk about the three fake foods that you should never eat again. Now, unfortunately, the American diet is filled with highly processed foods and all the chemicals, sugars, and fats that come with them. In fact, so many of the foods we know and love aren't actually food at all. That's why today I'm going to cover the three fake foods you should never eat again. Let's get started. Number one, fast food. This one may seem obvious, but here's the real reason fast food is one of the worst things that you can put in your body. They're typically cooked or made with dangerous oils like soybean and corn oil. And in fact, believe it or not, 95% of the corn in this country is genetically modified and sprayed with Roundup as are soybeans. So you're not only getting a harmful omega-6 polyunsaturated fat, but you're also getting glyphosate in almost all of the fast foods that you're eating. That's Roundup glyphosate. And glyphosate is one of the biggest gut disruptors known to man, and I'm gonna talk more about that in another segment. These oils destroy your gut microbiome's ability to make a postbiotic called hydrogen sulfide. Believe it or not, most people have been taught that hydrogen sulfide gas is toxic, but in low doses, it's actually incredibly important for blood vessel health. And these polyunsaturated omega-6 fats in processed foods do the exact opposite. In fact, Cooking in these fats and cooking at high temperatures produces chemicals in foods that are called acrocyamides. These are cancer-causing agents. Let me give you an exciting example from a study in Italy, in Padova, Italy, where they looked at people's French fry consumption habits and followed people for eight years. People who had French fries two times per week or more had double the heart disease and cancer at eight years compared to people who ate less than two orders of french fries per week. Think about that the next time you go into your favorite fast food restaurant and order those delicious fries. These things are known to cause cancer and heart disease, and the mechanisms are just what I talked about. Now, what about fake meats? I know I'm one of the original people that says you ought to be eating more plants, and particularly plants that like you, but now we're getting fake meats like the Impossible Burger and Beyond Meat. These are processed foods. These are not real foods. They contain soy protein, potato protein, and there's actually glyphosate, Roundup, has been tested in these products. So fake meat is fake food. It's not real food. So don't believe all the hype that a plant-based diet is necessarily great for you. As most of you know, uh, having come from Loma Linda, which is an Adventist Seventh-day uh, Adventist institution, where vegetarian diet is the mainstay, we see huge amounts of very ill people following particularly a vegan diet because in the United States, most vegans are eating pastas and grains and beans, which are loaded with lectins. So just because it says this is a plant-based diet doesn't mean it's good for you. Number two, most sugar-free or zero-calorie drinks, like Diet Coke, for example, are the number two big thing that you should never have again. And that's coming from a person who is a Diet Coke addict. I drank eight Diet Cokes a day for many years. Why not? So well, it turns out that most of these beverages are still made with sucralose or aspartame. These actually wreak havoc on your gut bacteria. Duke University study showed one packet of Splenda, which is sucralose, killed 50% of all the bacteria in subjects' guts. 
And that's the last thing you want to do. But I think one of the most important things that we should take away, we don't have sugar receptors on our tongue. We have sweet receptors on our tongue. And so we have those sweet receptors because long ago, the only thing that was sweet was fruit. And fruit was loaded with fructose and sugar. And your brain would be alerted by that sweet taste, that sugar was coming. And so your brain actually makes insulin to take that sugar and actually store it as fat. Uh, fun fact, great apes only gain weight during fruit season. And you and I are designed to gain weight when we taste sweet because we make insulin and insulin is the fat storage hormone. So even when you taste something sweet that has no sugar, you actually produce insulin. Now here's the bad news. When sugar doesn't arrive in your brain, your brain says, hey, you've been cheated. The sugar didn't arrive. You should go back and find some more and keep eating until you get some sugar in you. And that's why these foods actually promote weight gain. And that's why I was this big giant fat guy even though I was running 30 miles a week because I was a Diet Coke addict because I kept looking for that missing sugar. Your body thinks it's endless summer every time you have these. All right, worst food, which is a health food, not peanut butter. For starters, peanuts are a lectin bomb. 95% of humans are born with an immune system against the peanut lectin. Peanut butter is also a processed food, which means if you're buying a can of peanut butter, a jar of peanut butter, it contains sugar, additives, and preservatives. It's not just plain peanut butter. But so many of my patients, peanuts show up over and over again on food sensitivities. Peanut butter is not your friend. So there you have it. Three fake foods, or as I like to call them, franken foods, are fast and fried foods, artificial sweeteners, and processed foods like peanut butter. So eliminate these from your diet as often as possible and stick to whole foods instead like avocados, like leafy greens, and berries when they're in season. All right, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, I think you're gonna love this one. Well, if you must eat wheat bread, white so sourdough bread is your best bet. But don't trick yourself into believing it's healthy. 